let's go for a ride! You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today! Well, I'm going to give my thoughts on the 2015 Honda CBR 600 R. Actually, it's a 2014 model, but hey, they made no significant changes for the model year 2015. So basically, you'll be looking at the same bike here. Okay, as you guys see here, the bike looks completely different from my 2008 CBR 600 R, but it's the same bike. As you guys see, it even has the same ugly stock mirrors. The uh, front headlights look different, the windscreen looks different, all the fairings look different. The bike looks older to me actually, it looks old school compared to my 2008. It actually makes my 2008 look new. But uh, there's no real significant changes besides the fairings. They did add a uh, big piston show of fork um, and they also added split spoke wheels. As you guys see there, those split spoke wheels look identical to those that are on my 2012 CBR 1000 RR. So they probably just added the same wheels on this bike. As you guys see, it has a silver swing arm instead of a black uh, swing arm like I have on my bike. It still has an undertail exhaust. By the way, if you want to change that exhaust to an aftermarket exhaust, you don't need a power commander, okay? I do just fine on my bike. I've got over 22,000 miles. And I've had a uh, Two Brothers Black Series exhaust on it. Zero problems. Sitting on this bike, as you guys see, the big piston show a fork there. And it has the, uh, everything is the same. The speedometer is the same. I love the fuel gauge, by the way, and I miss it when I'm on my CBR 1000 R. The tank width feels the same. Um, the seat feels the same. It has the uh, raised clip-ons that are comfortable on your wrists and hands, so you don't have to worry about any any uh, weight being put on your hands and wrists. So you can ride this bike for long distances with no problems. I've ridden over 500 miles, 12 hours straight, only stopping for gas with no problems. It's an awesome bike, what can I say? But I'm going to give you a comparison between my 2008 and this 2014 Honda CBR 600 R. As I stated earlier, underneath the fairings of this new bike, it's pretty much the same as my 2008 model, except for a few key differences, such as the big piston fork and the split spoke wheels that are on the newer bike. However, engine-wise, Honda reduced the horsepower starting in 2009 on the 2007-2008 model. It was 106 horsepower, and they reduced it down to 100 horsepower in 2009 due to emission standards, but they did up the torque one pound feet of torque performance wise zero to sixty not that big of a difference uh, but the quarter mile there is a little bit of a difference my bike is still a tick quicker I'll include a link to the sport rider magazine quarter mile times where I got these numbers from but they ran my bike back in 2008 at a 10.52 at 131 miles per hour compared to the 2013 quarter mile time at 10.96 at 127 miles per hour so only a four miles per hour difference but that's where you get that extra six horsepower that's on my bike so my bike not only looks newer it's faster <laughs> here's a little zero to hundred run that I did on my bike a couple of years ago Whether you get an awesome older 2008 model like mine or the new 2015 model, I'm going to tell you why you should get a CBR 600 R. First off, I'm not affiliated with Honda, although I wish I was and they should be paying me because it seems like I'm selling their bikes. But hey, I'm just a happy customer who really loves this bike. Even after owning a 2012 CBR 1000 R that sits right next to this bike in the garage. And I'll tell you, both of them are awesome bikes, but I still love this bike because it's got more than enough power for the streets awesome power it's quick off the line it's got strong mid-range power on the highway it's quick it's just it's got great linear power and it's fun it's lightweight man it's one of the lightest 600 cc super sports on the market at 410 pounds wet it's uh, it's comfortable it's got the, you know a good comfortable seat it's got the raised clip-ons you don't have any problems with wrist you know issues or hand issues uh, like some of the other super sports that have lower clip-ons 
It's got the undertail exhaust still, which I think looks fantastic. It's out of the way. You don't have to worry about ankle burns. There's no heat issues at the seat like some of the other bikes that have the undertail exhaust. Um, it has the MotoGP inspired HESD, which is the Honda electronic steering damper that's built in underneath the tank cover. Out of the way. It keeps the bike stable at all speeds. I love it. Bike is smooth as butter, man. I love it. And uh, it has a replaceable tank cover, so if you ever drop your bike or anything, you don't have to worry about uh, having a scratch tank where you have to take the tank off, repaint it, and all that crap. All you got to do is get a whole new set of plastics, and this bike is good to go. And if you want to learn how to put it on, I have a video for that. They'll show you how to take all the plastics off, put new plastics on. I did a review on some Chinese aftermarket fairings, which you see here that's on this bike that are custom painted. As you guys see, it looks fantastic. No problems whatsoever. I've owned this bike for over two and a half years. I've had no problems. Not one single problem. Just did basic maintenance on this bike. I have 22,000 miles on this bike. It still rides like new, and I love it. This bike is fun. As you guys know, I took it down to the Triple Nickel the summer before last, and I had a blast on it. I rode it the Triple Nickel twice. Oh man, this bike is a dream in the twisties. It's, it's, I tell you guys, it's so light, quick, and just fun. Get one! Hey, if you want to see some more cool bikes I did videos on, click on the links below. Also, check out my video library over at CycleCruiser.com. The link's on the right-hand side there. And be sure to follow me on my social media and check out my store. But hey, subscribe, like, and share. Thanks for watching.